Dateline, a very special day, place, Chiselton, where for days upon days preparation had been in hand for P.C. Leakey's birthday. Happy birthday to me. But it was to be a day that would soon send Chiselton reeling. Now, let's see. We want three tons of fondant icing. And half a ton of chocolate cake mix and a stone of stone as cherries and not to mention mounds and mounds of <gasps> piping cream. And what for, Granny? What for? Surely you haven't forgotten what day this is, will you? Not Rupert Leakey's rotten birthday. And guess who promised to bake him a super-duper bumper birthday cake? My big-hearted Hearted Granny. Granny. You got my decorations? No one ever makes me a cake when it's my birthday. Oh, Here, you've just had a birthday. Why don't you try being good for a change? Then you never know. Someone might. Good, how can I be good mince bag? With all the time I'm stint. Oh, come on. That morning in the Chiselton cake shop, neither Super Granny Smith nor the Scunner Campbell were aware of the effect a sudden announcement was to have on their lives. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Attention, all good citizens of Chiselton and True. What's the idea, Banana Black, up to you now, yeah? Be it known throughout the land that the new Duchess of Claridge will be paying a state visit to Chiselton this very day. Oh, yay! Some oh, born yay. state visit, big deal. Oh, yeah. Such an honor for Chiselton, Willie. And at Rupert Leakey's birthday, too. <laughs> you hear that, boss? Aye, some bit of regal crackling's dropping in on us. But so what? That doesn't help my cash flow situation. What is it? Or does it? Personage of quality. To act as general? General? Fight totem. To assist the Duchess of Claridge on her state visit today. Salary... Exorbitant! Well, what are we waiting for? Out of my way, you. Do I have the honour of addressing Miss Joan Joblot of the Chiselton Job Centre? The Scanner Campbell, ma'am. Officer and gentleman. Officer, you? Of the Cubs. Dip, 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 dip. Educated Gormston, further educated today. Woodworms groups? Oh. Handsome, hard working. Hard up? In fact, just the sort of person your royal hunter-ship will be needing on a visit today. You never, never. That's fix you, Joan Joblot. General fact, totally. I always knew I was destined for higher things. If only the minch bag could see me now. I should die laughing, boss. <laughs> but Super Granny Smith had more chocolatey and creamy things on her mind that day. You don't think you're overdoing things a bit, Granny? What? What's that you're saying, Willie? Nothing. Meanwhile, not far away, the Scunner Campbell was heading for Chiselton Metro and a royal welcome. Fancy her royal duchess ship coming here on my birthday, eh? Expect the muggards? Won't the wife be thrilled? Don't forget to take a full frontal view of me alongside her, Litchfield. Hello? Royal Fact 
from here? Oh, I wanted the Scunner Campbell. This is the Scunner Campbell. Whispering gracias, Scunner. Who? Huh? Just phoning to let you know, right? My friend Hetty the Heart will be in Chiselton today. Hetty the Heart? The compulsive kleptomaniac. Look, just get off the line, will you, Whispering? I'll have you know I'm a personage of quality now. About to mix with your cream de la cream royal lot. Not the slightest bit interested in no Hetty the Heart. But Scun. Oh, Why, yes, yes, yes indeed, ma'am. Jolly good, I've heard you're just a geezer. Indeed I am, ma'am. Ah. <laughs> indeed I am. <laughs> Meanwhile, not far away, the Chiselton Railway was purring away from its own little station, having deposited yet another unforgettable personage in Chiselton that day. Could this be the commoner garden Hetty the Hat the Scunner had been warned was arriving? Bless me. I didn't think the whole of Chiselton would be out here to greet me. Ah, I, uh, I wonder if you could help me, friendly little British rail person. It isn't like this at Kensington Palace. <laughs> yes, once again, the Scunner Campbell had got it all wrong. For the person arriving at the Chiselton station was indeed the Duchess of Claridge, while the one at Chiselton Metro was none other than the compulsive kleptomaniac Hattie the Hat in disguise. <laughs> Funny kind of rival goes on nicking things, boss. Got to make allowances. It's all that inbreeding, isn't it? What they call aristocratic idiosyncrasies. You mean they're all a bit. Uh... Well, what do you think they call it? Bucks Peerage. <laughs> on behalf of the leading citizens of Chiselton, I would like to welcome to Chiselton today her royal regalness. Perhaps you would care to honour us with a few words, ma'am. Well, I'd just like to say what I never expected the old tight fisted scunner over here yeah, to lay on such a um, fancy nosh for me. Like. <laughs> She's so wonderfully down to work, isn't she, Super Girl? Of course, all the royals are like that these days, like real human beings, almost. Hmm, yeah, I think this one's just a wee bit unusual, Edison. Another nutcase, more like. Well now, Scanner, me old fag totem, what's next on the agenda? Hey, well, the uh, opening an international duel of your royal scissorship. <laughs> oh, Scanner, you are a one. <laughs> a lot of funny folk around Chiselton today, gang. I've never opened one of these before, mate. Robbed a few, yeah. Never opened one. <laughs> Just a little aristocratic joke, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I'll make catch. Ow! Sugar lumps! This way, your royal highness. Meanwhile, as Hetty the Hat Hattersley was getting a reception she'd never dreamed of, and Rupert Leakey's birthday cake was close to churning completion, the real Duchess Madge of Claridge was still looking for her welcome. <laughs> this is a sweet little place. So quiet. <gasps> Ooh. Ah, look at the time, Willie. Time Rupert Leakey's cake was ready. Come on. Excuse me. Oh, 
Oh, super glad you shouldn't have. How very kind. How very, very kind. Oh, don't mention it. Very generous of you indeed, super glad. Bag with the feathers on, Super Grat. Well, Rupert Leakey, your guess is as good as mine. Meanwhile, the Scunner Campbell was also enjoying every minute of the wrong royal visit. Oi, Campbell! Psst, 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 Scunner, Scunner! Will you push off, whispering? I told you before in the blood, I'm a personage of quality now. Serving a personage of quality. Personage of quality? Hey! That ain't no personage of quality, you Scottish snake. That's all that either heart, the compulsive technomania. Could be he's right, boss, while walkabouts aren't usually like this. It's an affairian bloody. Well, oh, you can tell your royals anywhere. It's going awfully well, didn't he, is it not, ma'am? <laughs> it certainly is, much. Ian, I was thinking, as you and me work so well together, how do you fancy a place on my permanent style? Oh, your royal loveliness. It would be an honour. <laughs> you work at Buckhouse? Oh, I can see it now. Caviar and chips, walkies with the corgis. That'll show the old men back. Shall have to bow and scrape to the Skinner Campbell in, all right. But what sort of job, Shuffer Jungle? Eh? Oh, getaway driver. A getaway driver? Well, I suppose it's for when she wants to get away, like. For the weekend, nip off to Sandringham, shoot some little birdies and uprising pheasants. Ah. Meanwhile, not far away, the other party was drawing to a close. You know, my little pointy-headed Henry, I don't know when a duchess has enjoyed a state visit more. <laughs> duchess! You? <laughs> well, certainly. You ain't no duchess. Oh, but I am. Look at this load of tats. <laughs> the carriage jewels. <laughs> Not to mention this tasteless and garish attire. <laughs> yeah. You ain't no duchess. She's more like that horrible Hetty the hat we've been expecting. Hetty the who? <laughs> this way, you. <laughs> Anybody can see you're as common as muck. Ew. Look, I am Madge Blossom, Deirdre, Duchess of Claridge. Oh! Who ever heard of a Duchess called Madge? <laughs> At long last, the penny dropped in the royal brain, and as it did so, the Duchess Madge realized somewhere out there, someone must be impersonating her. Oi! Oi, you! Mugwump! Mugwash, whatever your name is, come and get me out of here! There was only one person the Duchess knew of who could help her. One person in the entire realm to who she and anyone else in trouble can always call on. Help! Super Grand! Oh. for help! I hear it plain. The voice is under considerable strain. 
Here we go! We're just sorry you've been troubled, Supergrass. It's this poor, deluded wretch, you see. He keeps on insisting she's a duchess. Oh, I see. I am a real duchess, little Scottish Supergrass. I keep telling these people I'm Madge Blossom Deirdre. Well, if you're a real duchess... I am! Who's the lady in the tiara and train? What's visiting Chiselton today? She's an imposter, you balmy blue bottle. Exactly. <clears throat> well, it seems to me... There's only one way of settling this for sure. Hello. Oh, hello. Is the Duke of Claridge there by any chance? Oh, he's popped out for a minute. Well, uh, tell him that Super Gran will be uh, dropping by shortly. Uh -huh. Bye, say bye. Here we go. outside. I'm afraid the doors are closed, Supergram. All right. Well observed, Professor. Ah, that's no bother at all. A wee Supergram like me. Ah. <laughs> oh, do you have to, Supergram? Oh, what a silly question. Not long now till we see who is a real Duchess, eh? How would you like to take a nice long exile north of Watford, Sonny? <laughs> exile? Me? Oh, you are north of Watford, aren't you? With my little eye, who do I spy? But Clarence, Duke of Claridge. <laughs> Clarence, Duke of Claridge. Clarence. Impertinence. Kneel and grovel, woman. Oh, we've no time for yonkin' a malarkey now. How dare you? Come along. Oh, oh, along, oh, there's a Black. Well, no, there isn't. How dare you? I only travel by gold coach or state land or... Yes, yes, that's yes, well, right. Uh, uh, in you get, get there's in. a good boy. Dare you, in there? Yes, oh. well, yes. You, you don't mind your hat. Oh, my hat and jeep. Yes, that's a well done, sir. Well done. Oh. Oh. I'm travelling by 
must give up now. <laughs> Oh, Maddie. Oh, crikey. I'll probably end up in the tower for this super grand. Scanner, I can't think when I've enjoyed myself more. It's been an honour and a pleasure to serve you, ma'am. <laughs> Tell me, ma'am, where shall I send these things on to? They're all used Buckhouse. No, Etty Attersley, care of Holloway. Holloway? Cell 57. You mean you're not. Good disguise! Etty! Oh. You mean you really are oh. like whispering says, Hetty the Hat? Afraid so, Mush. <laughs> Oh, fucking toadstools! In that case, where is the real Duchess? Where is my girl coach? Or oh, state landlord? You're going to travel by train today, Clarence. No. Oh. Like it. Oh. Promise you'll come back and pay us another proper state visit next year, Mom. You fat muggins, old mug! <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Duchess Madge. of quality and deeds. See you, John Joblot. Cause I knew all along she was rough half. You did, boss. How, boss? But when she cut that ribbon and nicked her finger, she didn't have no blue blood. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh. Nothing that she can't do. 